Boruto episodes 53 to 57 spoilers have finally been released. I've been waiting for these things for like two days. They're finally out. I want to give a huge shout out to my man Spiraling Sphere. That's who I basically got it from. The actual link to these spoilers are going to be in, in the description below. And also, I'm going to leave Spiraling Sphere's Twitter in the description below. So make sure you guys go check him out. And if you guys want to stay up to date with all the spoiler news, all the, all the spoiler images, everything like that, make sure to follow me on Twitter now. You guys are going to be seeing the timestamps for when I do read out the specific spoiler information for these next coming episodes because i will be giving my thoughts and opinions right after i read them but without wasting any time i'm going to be going into episode 53 spoilers it's going to be him and wadi's birthday we already know a couple of things about this we've seen the preview about it at the end of the 52nd episode of board so now going into the actual paragraph it says in contrast to his teammates who's shown the desire to take the tuning exam boruto's refusal of the tuning exam confuses everyone during this time boruto's family celebrating him and wadi's birthday by having a whole family to Together for the first time in a long while, Boruto is grateful that his father Naruto is keeping his promise of celebrating him and Wadi's birthday together. However, the night Uzumaki's family is visited by a guest. Now, this does sound a little bit interesting, man, because it sounds a little bit different from what happened in the tuning exam and the movie tuning exam. But hopefully, we will get that same shock factor of seeing Sasuke. The only thing that really differs is the fact that Naruto in the tuning exam wasn't really Naruto. The people who watch the tuning exam know what I'm talking about. I don't really want to spoil everything, but in this episode, we are going to be specifically seeing some more stuff that's not really detailed in the spoilers, and I really like them for not really detailing it in the spoilers, and it's the fact that we're going to be seeing a lot of things happen. For example, the Sasuke versus Kenshiki fight, we're 9 times out of 10 going to be seeing that because that fight takes place right before Sasuke actually shows up to the Boruto's house, and it looks like Sasuke is going to be showing up to Boruto's house at the end of the episode, which would leave the whole episode of episode 53 to basically animate. Sasuke's battle with Kenshiki and of course I don't think the whole episode is just going to be Sasuke versus Kenshiki fighting I do believe it's going to be some scenes where Boruto is actually saying hey I don't want to be in the tuning exam or it's Boruto saying hey I hope Naruto is going to come but I'm really excited to see a longer ext extended version of Sasuke versus Kenshiki I think a lot of people are going to really like that in the movie the Sasuke versus Kenshiki fight was about I'd say one minute one to two minutes and of course that's a very short fight a lot of people want to see more of that and I think in the tuning exam anime and episode 53 we're probably gonna see an extended version of Sasuke versus Kenshiki and the best thing about that is we're gonna finally get to see what Sasuke is like when he really fights as you guys know we haven't really seen Sasuke really really fight in a long time we understand that he had that little battle with Shin Uchiha but it wasn't really a real fight now he actually gets to show us what he's really made of in this next fight but I do want to tell you guys he's not gonna be 100% and I did have somebody ask me in one of my other videos that it really doesn't matter if Sasuke is like 60% 40% 100% because he's gonna be doing the same thing i want to tell you guys it's not necessarily that case man because if sasuke knows that he's not 100 percent and he knows that he has to save some chakra save some energy he's not going to use all of his full skill sets in that single fight if you guys remember back when we seen sasuke versus the kinshik in the tuning exam sasuke didn't really use the diva path push and pull he didn't use the susano he didn't use a lot of things and he didn't use that man because he wanted to save some of his ocular powers to do the time space ninjutsu to get out of that otazuki dimension so it's just gonna be a couple of things like that we're not gonna really see sasuke's full powers and potentials but it's kind of nice to see sasuke actually fight a worthy opponent and not to forget we're gonna see tornetti in the next episode as well so that's gonna be a very good sighting now going forward episode 54 the title is sasuke and boruto going into the actual paragraph it says boruto's anger at his father for ruining his sister's birthday drives him to head to naruto and directly talk to him on the way he comes across sasuke fueled with anger boruto attacks sasuke only to be subdued in an instant having experienced sasuke's strength firsthand boruto asks to be taken as a student now of course a lot of people are going to want to see this boruto versus sasuke for the first time obviously we've seen it in the tuning exam movie but i do expect them to have it a little bit different i expect boruto to probably put up a bigger fight or a better fight but obviously we know sasuke not going to fall for any of that in the last episode of boruto it was really interesting seeing boruto's reaction to hearing about sasuke and how strong sasuke was so it looks like in this episode boruto's actually
actually gonna figure out or see how Sasuke is, how Sasuke fights. Matter of fact, he's not even gonna see how Sasuke fights. He's just gonna see that Sasuke is just a different type of ninja as a whole. Like, he's just different. He's an elite. But in this episode, we can't expect Boruto to be pulling up for that smoke with Sasuke. He's gonna actually wanna fight my mans. But the next episode is episode 55, Scientific Ninja Tools. It says, Boruto's training as Sasuke's student begins, but all Boruto has on his mind is to get the better of Naruto. So as soon as his training hits a slight bump, he would immediately seek for a solution from Sasuke. Also, to show his strength to his father, Boruto decides to take the tuning exam. During that time, the Jinchuriki Killer B is assaulted by a member of the Otozuki clan, Momoshiki, who has appeared from a different dimension. Now, this right here is something worthy of note. A lot of people feel like Killer B probably quote unquote died in the tuning exam, and now we're finally gonna probably see the whole thing to it. Now, when Momoshiki did have Killer B or when he did abduct Killer B in the movie, we didn't see a lot of things. A lot of things were actually cut out of the movie, such as how Momoshiki got Killer B to that specific situation. In the movie, Momoshiki didn't show up to the Cloud Village. Momoshiki didn't have to struggle to actually get Killer B. We didn't see the Killer B versus Momoshiki fight. And I think now we're obviously going to get to see that. It's pretty much going to be a very good episode. Hopefully the animations are going to be very good. We all know that Killer B is an extremely good opponent. Momoshiki is pulling up for the smoke. I just hope Killer B doesn't die after Momoshiki does what he does. Now in this episode, we also get to see that Boruto is going to be training with Sasuke. Or he starts his training with Sasuke. Now, we can kind of expect Boruto to probably learn his Rasengan in this episode or probably this episode or the next three episodes because Boruto did relatively learn the Rasengan in a short amount of time. Now, he didn't master it. Of course, he didn't master it, but he did have that vanishing Rasengan that we all know and love. And hopefully, we get to see Boruto and Sasuke's training a little bit more in depth. Hopefully, we'll get to see a sparring match between those two. That would be absolutely boss. But the next episode is Boruto episode. Episode 56, the title is Rivals Gather. Going into the actual paragraph, it says the tuning examinations are finally beginning. And to that end, getting from a multitude of villages gather at the village of the hidden leaf. Each of the getting from different villages are sizing one another up, taunting another, resulting in high tensions. Finally, the first test of the tuning exam begins. Now, I'm gonna really love this episode. I've actually been hearing from a lot of people that this episode is gonna have the animations similar to that of Orochimaru versus Log when we got to see Mitsuki backstory about Mitsuki turning into Sage Mitsuki. We got to see a fight between Orochimaru and Log and the animations were absolutely great. They were fluid, they look amazing and hopefully we get to see that in this episode as well but the animators are saying that we're going to be getting those type of animations in this episode and what that tells me is that there are going to be a couple of fights in this episode and it doesn't have to be any long drawn out fights but spoilers did say that the characters of the beginning are going to be sizing each other up. What I do expect or I wouldn't say expect but what i do hope for is if you guys remember back when the getting from the naruto tuning exam finally seeing each other it's like we seen god and we like automatically knew that god was going to be this strong opponent but then there was a scene between sasuke and rock lee we finally got to see sasuke fight a worthy opponent which was rock lee and rock lee like completely owned him now we might get a scene like that in this episode maybe we'll get to see mitsuki go and own somebody else from another village or maybe there's going to be a fight between sada and another female from another village and maybe Maybe Sada just completely gets beat up. It could be a possibility like that. Now, I do expect this episode to be one of the better episodes of these episodes right here, even though it's going to only be specifically about the getting and the getting finally meeting each other. To me, I feel like it's going to be more interesting seeing the getting from the other villages and how strong these other gettings could possibly be and possibly seeing some Keke Genkais. Maybe we'll see a Byakukai. I don't know. Maybe we'll see a lot of things dealing with these other getting from the other villages. Now, the last one is episode 57. The top Carlos says the reason that I can't lose. There is no summary for this episode. There's no paragraph that I can read because it's not yet released. But I do want to predict what this episode is probably going to be about. I think Boruto is probably going to end up fighting someone and he's probably going to almost lose. And he's going to say, no, I can't lose because I want Naruto to see me fight. I want Naruto to see what I'm actually made of. I think that episode is going to be one of the better episodes. Now, talking about the overall spoilers and the overall picture of these spoilers, they're keeping a lot of stuff hidden from us in terms of the ultimate. Suzuki clan in terms of the scientific weaponry things like that because they know they can't necessarily spoil everything from us the only information that we did get from the Otsuzuki clan was specifically about them 
actually extracting Killer B and extracting all of his chakra. Now, that's really the only thing, but I do expect a lot more scenes from the Ozuki clan, for example. In the next episode, specifically episode 53, we do expect to see Tonetti Ozuki making an appearance in the Boruto anime, and they didn't really tell us anything about that. So, nine times out of ten, they are withholding a lot more information in terms of the Ozuki clan and the overall tuning exam. And I actually don't blame them for that. I think that's a very good thing to do. I just really hope that it'll be a lot Otsuzuki based. It's gonna be Otsuzuki heavy, mainly because those are the main things that a lot of the fans want to see. And same with me, I do like to see them as well. I like to see them go at it. I like to see more when she can pull up for the smoke, Naruto getting ready to fight them. But let me know what you guys think about these spoils in the comment section below. As I said, I really like these next couple of episodes. I really expect them to be top flight, good, extremely great. The only thing I hope is that they animate it perfectly because I know the plot is gonna be booming in these next couple of episodes. But let me know what you guys think. It's been your boy Barbie, and we out. On my city, I'm the youngest nigga rapping. Oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm a legend. Oh my god, oh my god. If I die, I'm a legend. I'm a first.